The City of Calgary Archives has been serving the public for 40 years, preserving the historic records of the city and making them available. The City of Calgary Archives was formally established in April of 1981 with the hiring of the first city archivist, Anthony L. Rees. Its mandate was to preserve the permanently valuable records of the city and to make them available. Although it may have taken until 1981 to formally establish an archives program at the City of Calgary, city clerks had long known that there were records of significance that needed to be preserved. In 1893, a fireproof vault was purchased to store these records. In 1959, Mayor Hayes and Ken Liddell expressed an interest in establishing an archives to gather records for the city's centennial in 1965. Unfortunately, there was not enough political will to fund an archival program at that time. In April of 1971, the City of Edmonton had established their own municipal archives. But in Calgary, the Records Control Committee was in charge of records disposition. The Glenbow Foundation and the Calgary Public Library were responsible for the appraisal and selection of historic city records. This arrangement was formalized in March of 1973 by the Board of Commissioners and the Glenbow became the official city archivists. This arrangement continued until 1979 when the growth of city records outpaced the Glenbow's ability to manage within their mandate. In addition, the city's overflow record storage on the second floor of the Simmons Mattress Company building became structurally unsound. So city clerk Joyce Woodward started making plans for a city-operated municipal archives. Although the City of Calgary Archives was formally established in 1981, city archivists continued to work inside the Glenbow building. It soon became clear that the City of Calgary Archives required its own space. So in the mid-1980s, the archives relocated to the public building at 201 8th Avenue Southeast. With the Calgary Olympic Games in 1988, it became clear that there was a need for a home to house the Olympic records and artifacts. City archivist Elizabeth Denham negotiated an agreement with the Olympic Winter Games Organizing Committee and the Calgary Olympic Development Association to host the records of the Olympic Winter Games in exchange for 10 years of funding and costs covered to renovate and relocate to a larger facility. The City of Calgary Archives was the first host Olympic city to come to such an agreement. On June 7, 1990, the Archives opened its doors to its new location on the first floor of the Administration Building in the Municipal Complex. This new space included an environmentally controlled storage area and a larger reading room to better accommodate staff and researchers. The continuing growth of the archival holdings resulted in the need for additional off-site storage. This resulted in a move to the fourth floor of the Trade Centre building in 1993. This new location was walking distance from the administration building, which facilitated records retrieval from the off-site storage. 1994 was a time of fiscal restraint at the city, and unfortunately, the city archivist position was cut and leadership of the City of Calgary Archives was blended with corporate records. Despite fears for the archives program with the loss of the city archivist, the program continued to grow and develop. It grew to a point where in 2012, more specialized offsite storage was needed. So a new special storage area was constructed within a Northeast warehouse. The timing of this move to the new off-site warehouse location was very fortuitous as the Trade Centre was isolated and underwater during the 2013 Calgary Flood. The main holdings of the City of Calgary archives were spared from disaster due to the elevation of the City Hall C-Train platform and the Municipal Building Parkade. According to maintenance personnel, the floodwaters came within inches of breaching the floor of the archives storage area. In 2017, the archives was the focus of another program review. This time, it was recognized that there was a need for a dedicated archives coordinator.
In 2019, the City of Calgary archives was once again separated from corporate records. Since the arrival of the new archives coordinator, the archives has revamped their web presence to better support the delivery of digital content, and measures have been taken to preserve digital records. The COVID-19 pandemic in 2020 resulted in the longest period of public closure of the City of Calgary archives since its beginnings in 1981. In order to continue providing a high level of public service, the archives temporarily revised its reference service model and conducted research on behalf of researchers to minimize service delays. And now, as the archives celebrates 40 years, they will continue to build on the legacy that this milestone anniversary celebrates. They will continue to bolster interest in their collections and expose the archives to a wider audience through the development of online exhibits, participation in promotional events such as Historic Calgary Week and Doors Open YYC. They will give presentations and promote their history and holdings through social media.